prices, preparedness and prepping. This topic is not actually by me, so I've been prepared for several years now. And for me it is important that I have not only one scenario what could happen and I have not only one point in my life where I am prepared, so for example my home, that I have several points where I can go in such a situation. And one of those points is my prepper cabin and I want to show you this cabin today. Maybe you know my fox hut cabin from my other videos. So this will be my fox hut cabin where I spend also time with my family. But over the last months I prepared those cabin to an autark cabin where I have everything that I would need in such a situation. So nobody know if and when yes, what kind of situation will maybe come, but it is always better to be prepared than sorry and without nothing in such a situation. Crisis preparedness means not only to have a lot of food at home, it means that you are complete or talk self-sufficiency in several aspects, several points, so not only food. And I will take you step to step into my forest cabin and show you what is necessary to stay alive. And at first we check out the area around the cabin. Water is essential. Without water you cannot stay alive in a crisis. So I want to show you at first how I can get water and how I can prepare this water that it is drinkable without bacteria. So of course you can buy a lot of bottles, but those bottles are not really our talk. So you have to find um, a water stream or something else where you can get always water. A creek can be empty or a lake can be full with dirt water. So it is very important that you have several points where you can get your water to stay alive. This here is one of my water resources. This is rainwater I collected from the roof. So, and I can use it to wash, but also to drink when I use a filter. And with water filter, I don't mean a soya squeeze mini filter. This is a very big filter, it is the life straw. And with this I can filter really big um, parts of water. It is possible for me to filter a lot of water in a few minutes with this filter. I'm not sure when this scenario came true, if I have enough rainwater or if the water is contaminated with something. So I found another um, resource where I can get fresh and clean water. And I want to show it to you now. Come with me. This clear water comes out here and you can see the water is very clean, it is cold and it comes out here from a um, hill and it is filtered through the stones and the earth were in the ground so it is very clean and drinkable. I don't know how often I can get fresh water, so I have those uh, water bags. This here has 220 liters, so very massive, and into these bags I can uh, storage my water. To pump into a pot or something else I have those siphon pump, this makes it very easy. Into this 20 liter um, pot is my dish and hand clean water. I can open it very easily here and I can make sure that I don't let go too much water out. So 
this is very easy. If I have to make dirty water drinkable, I have those Micropur tablets. I have this package, uh, I have from this package five and with those package I can make 500 liters drinkable. I have on top 10 of those 5 liter storages and um, I have them in my cellar because in the cellar it is complete dark and um, cold so this is the ideal place for water storage. So you can see that I not only have one resource of water, I have several resources and I can also make a lot of water drinkable with those tablets. So enough for water, now we check out the next point. The next point is warmth and cooking. So the easiest thing for me would be here in the cabin an forest and wood oven. But it is not possible here because of different points. But there are a lot of alternatives that I want to show you. This is my cabin heater. It works with petroleum, so it is a petroleum oven. Um, it is very, very comfortable to use it because it is safe. You can smell nothing. You don't have to start it with an open fire, with um, a lighter or something else. It is integrated and um, it doesn't use so much petroleum, so it is very, very, um, I don't know the right word, it doesn't need so much petroleum, but take a closer look. The oven is actually on, so I had to make it out again and then I can show you how to start it. The oven is out, so I can show you the tank. It is a very good system because I can, um, I can put the tank outside and fill it up again without a lot of um, liquid outside and then I can just put it back. So there are three liters inside and with those three liters I can heat the cabin continually 20 hours. I have trice pumps, one for water and one for petroleum and this here is a 20 liter bag and with this pump I can make it very clean from one um, part in the other. Start the oven is also very easy with this here. It is an electronic starting so without a lighter or something else. The oven is starting with a small flame and after two minutes the flame is away and you can only see it, um, the red lighting and then it starts to heat. This is another heater, it runs with gas. I have so many of those gas bottles, I show it to you later, and it has a Piozzi starter, so also with no lighter. This is a petroleum strong light latern. I used this for a long time as an only heater here in the cabin because uh, when it runs, it heats the cabin very fast and it makes a great and strong light. But actually, it doesn't need it only when it is very, very cold. I love those petroleum lerchants. I often have one of them um, with me at my tours. In the past, I used it also for light and warm, but today I doesn't need it anymore. I have them only because I like them. I don't want that my cabin burns one day with all those different heaters and light lights. So I have those uh, fire stopper. I have one with powder and one CO2, um, CO2, CO2. I don't know. Um, fire stopper. 
with crisis preparedness it is the same with a fire stopper you hope always that you never need it but when the situation is there you are happy that you um, know how it works so it is important that you have not only a fire starter in your home or in your cabin it is also important that you know how it works how to use it so not only learn about mm, i had to to pump this and then I had to start this, use it, try it. So I have those different types of fire stopper. This year, um, this year, bring out the air that we breathe out of, out of this room and then the fire is stopped. But when you use it, when you use this fire stopper, it is also um, there is also the situation there that you can't breathe anymore because there is no air to breathe. So stop the fire with it and then go out of this closed room. This here is also great to stop fire, but this here works with a powder. And if you shoot this powder at the fire, it is not only at the fire, it is everywhere. In every small part of this room would be the powder and if you have for example a computer here inside and uh, you use this the computer will be complete damaged because you can never get out this powder so it works but it has also his bad parts but of course the fire would be the worst powder fire stopper co2 fire stopper All those different heaters in a closed room can also be dangerous. So I open the windows from time to time and I also have two of those alarms that are ringing when the air inside isn't good, any isn't good anymore. Next step is cooking. I have here a simple cooker from Camping Gas. Two different cooking places so I don't have too much say to this point. This here is the gas bottle, it is able to refill and easy to storage and it holds for a long long time to cooking. It is important that I can open the window here so I have always fresh air while cooking with all those gas. In the past I used those cookers, I have a lot of those bottles so I have them if the other weren't working. I also have now a fridge in my forest cabin. In the winter months it is not so important because it is cold outside, but in the summer months I ha will have, um, for example, f uh, meat cold that it would not um, be filled with bacteria. So, and I have also a nice place for storage because when I don't use it as a fridge, it is complete uh, closed and I can have all my other food inside. This here is my new fridge. They made it in the past for festivals, but it is also great for my example for the forest cabin. So here you can check how cold it should make. The fridge can also freeze. Now take a look inside. So it looks inside. I have here two different um, parts for stuff. And with this I can make my food for a very long time cold and then it is still edible after a long time. Actually I have no food inside which should be cold. The salt has not to be in the fridge. But when I doesn't use it as a fridge I have all the other um, food inside. So I use it as a storage um, box. And Maybe one of you said now, oh, this isn't our talk. Prepping head should be our talk. You are wrong. The fridge runs with the travel box. This is a big battery and I can fill it up at home with the ACDC. But when this option isn't there, I can fill it up again with a solar panel. So I am complete our talk with these tools. You can see that the travel box have different plugs. I can not only run the fridge, also load up my mobile phone 
or um, my, my flashlight. The fridge is really great. So it can uh, freeze from plus 50 degrees till zero 20 degrees in one hour. This is really great and of course you don't have to run it the whole time. When you have around zero degrees and you doesn't open the fridge anymore, it holds for many many hours so you can save the energy like this. I think that this fridge is a really good plus option here for my cabin because in a crisis you are very happy if you can get some meat and when you have the meat you had to cool it as this doesn't um, begin to, to rotten or when you can hunt on deer you have to storage it because otherwise the bacteria will working and the flies come and then so um, you have to make your food long term. You cannot salt it every time or s smoke it over the fire and then is such a fridge really great. I thought for a long time how I can use the sun energy. Of course there is the option with solar panels and I thought maybe I could have a fixed solar panel at the roof but I'm here in the middle of the forest and I don't have a direct sun. So with this combination, the solar panel and the travel box, I can go a few meters away from the cabin where I have the full sun energy and then I can load up the travel box again and this works really great. Ta-da! I have to be honestly, I test this combination in the fall for several times. Actually it would work great, but I'm not sure if it works in the winter months because then I have not so much sun here in the forest. So maybe I had to go for several times till it is full. Um, I don't know, but I would test it. So actually the situation, the combination Solar panel, travel box and fridge is great and this is a really really plus point for my cabin. This is enough for the fridge but we will stay at uh, the voltage. This here is my heart piece in energy, this is the power oak. I showed you the power oak in an separate videos a few weeks ago so I don't say too much to this. but. The power oak um, make me able to have some light here inside of the cabin. So I have here two lights and of course also other stuff um, like the coffee machine. So don't laugh about the coffee mach machine. Um, I drink every time, every day several times coffee and when I have from one day to other no coffee anymore it is um, yeah like a like, um, smoker. If you smoke cigarettes every day and then suddenly you have nothing, you can't concentrate you anymore and this isn't good in a crisis. I have here with the power oak also different possibilities to um, plug and it works also with solar energy. I have two solar panels for the power oak and I want to show it to you now so I am also with this tool complete our talk. This here are the solar panels for the power oak. They are really big and I have a long cable because the power oak itself it is really heavy. It has about 30 kilos so it doesn't um, it is not easy for me to carry it but I can let it stay here and put the solar panels outside and it is also possible to load it. Of course it is a lot of technique here inside of the cabin but um, I looked that I have for every technique part an alternative. So for example um, for the fridge I have the alternative um, the cellar where it is also very cold. But um, I will use everything what is possible so I complete our talk with this so why not. Maybe you cannot see it right because the beautiful sun is coming from outside into the cabin but these lamps here are great because they are so bright and they are also our talk. So they react when I touch it. I can make it 
very light out and on and why they are our talk oh, I want to show you now. This here is the solar panel for the Sundaya lamp. I have two of them, one here and one in the sleeping room. And of course you can fix those solar panel at the roof, but it doesn't make sense by me why I, to I told you before. So I also can fix this at a tree or in the ground. I have a very long cable and I can put them two together and then it will load up again when you have a good sun, maybe in six hours and then you have light full light, not the bright light, uh, not the other one, for about eight hours. To load it you have to remove the hanger and then put the plug from the solar panel inside and then it is ready to load. I cannot only use the lamp for the rooms, I can also carry it outside for going to the toilet or um, bring something, I can use it as a hand lamp. For protection I have several wildlife cameras, I have three of them and they message me if they um, have any movement here in this area. I've got a message at my mobile phone so I always know when someone was there. So in a crisis situation you had to go away from your cabin from time to time to collect uh, edible plants or something else and then you know when somebody was there and uh, find your hut. The best protection for your home is a big dog. That's my opinion. Aika is now really big and she's also in the training. So she will fight till it comes to blood um, for her area here. I have also at the cabin a Reno Ready Bug Out Bag. If you don't see the video, it is in my um, Prepper Be Prepared playlist. So this is a ready packed um, emergency backpack, but it is only the normal stuff inside. I make my own with everything that I um, have not inside of this bag and I will make here on several video about this topic. The next topic is food. So I have different food here inside, food that is ready cooked food which needs water, long term food, vitamins, food which only fill the stomach. So you cannot buy only a few long term food and that was it. So I've built for myself this part here of the cabin with all those boxes. I have also boxes under the um, bench. So and now we take a look what is inside. Into those boxes is not only food but it is everything at the same place so I will show it to you at once. We start with the rice because it is standing here on top. I start collecting the rice in those glass tubes but they are not enough. I have another storage possibility which I want to show you later. So rice is great because um, it fills the stomach very soon and you can also put some um, some wild plants also to them and then it will taste better. The bad point is that you need water to cook and this is not always possible. In the first box are some candles, some cables, gas and, and soap. Hygiene is very important in an emergency situation. When you want to storage food you also know not for which situation. If you have water or not, if you can heat it or not. So I have different food. This here are called EPAs. These are ready cooked meals. Um, you can eat them cold but you can also heat them and you don't need any water. Here are potatoes ready cooked and this here are sausages for noodles. And I have in the cabin a very high, um, very much water in the air. So I put them all in such plastic zip bags that I don't rotten. This here is rice, ready cooked rice. Um, they taste like they are. You can eat them cold or warm and you can also collect some 
wild um, edible plants that you have more vitamins. In the next box is chocolate. Chocolate is very important to have a better feeling. I love to eat chocolate. Here are cranberries and then I have alcohol. Not for me, but in an emergency situation when you can't buy anything, other people are happy when they can get some alcohol and you can say to them, I give you the alcohol and for the alcohol I want to have some rice, for example. So, and then there is sugar, which gives you a lot of energy. Fish, it is important that you have different food, that your body get everything what he needs. Um, this here are nuts with salt. Salt is also very important because your body needs a lot of salt to stay healthy. And here are some um, bonbons, I don't know the English word. So you can uh, have them in your mouth and when you have nothing else to eat only this year, you are happy about this because you can have them for a long time in the mouth and then you have the feeling that you have a little bit of food. So this year are some cookies. Um, they are really, really hard so you had to bite a long time to eat it and this gives your body the feeling that you eat a lot and then um, the hunger will stay a little bit away for a few hours. Yeah, and here inside is also chocolate with uh, caffeine, which is in uh, coffee and this makes you feel better. So I love to eat chocolate and um, because of this I have a lot of it. When you have a fixed point where you can live, you also have to walk a little bit to go for a hunt or to check out the area or to collect anything. So for this um, I have some small food. These are here smoothies with fruit inside. Here are also several fruities, uh, smoothies. And here um, are some nuts, a nut mix, which gives you a lot of energy and here are some um, sport uh, cookies and a little bit of coffee. Here is some fish and meat and soups uh, into those packages. Different soups, they are very soon ready. This here is food which needs water and need to cook. And here I have some meat and long-term bread. This is a mixed box. I have here some pumpkin, pumpkin seeds, salt, sauerkraut, of course I'm German, <laughs> chocolate, ketchup, um, some fruits and this here is already um, energy drink and this here is a ready cooked menu. Um, I have several of them and I want to show you those now. This here is not long term food, some sweets, some croissants. Um, so for the using very soon. A lot of gas bottles for the small um, heater of course. They are not enough in an extreme situation, but then you had to look a little bit that it doesn't heat too much. This here are candles. They are normally for the cemetery, but um, I have I bought a white one that doesn't have such a um, different look here inside the cabin. They burn for seven days. I used them in the past for my glass house that my plants wouldn't be damaged from the coldness. And then I thought when, that, when it works in the glass house, it would work also in the cabin. And in the winter months, I have also always four of them burning that I have a ground 
temperature here in the cabin. This is not all. I have 60 of them, so um, they will hold for a long time. I have here a lot of candles and also in the cellar. You can laugh about it, but I eat as an old adult um, baby food. I love it. It tastes really good. Um, the shop doesn't sell them anymore, so I've got them for a low price. And there is everything inside what you need. So it is good for the babies and also good for the adults. So I have several of them here, but there is no box where I can put them inside. In such a small cabin, you have to use every space that you have. So I have here under the bench from the sitting area also some boxes with stuff inside. Here are three bigger boxes and I show you what's inside. The food in this storage boxes is the food which will um, be the longest in a crisis. This food that you can see here in the boxes is all from the store Sicherstadt, which means safe city. And this shop um, sells only crisis preparedness equipment. So I've got this food a few years ago and I've tested it um, several times on tours. Now it looks different. So I have here rice, ragu, um, bones, meat and noodles. When you are in a crisis and you can't buy food in anymore, it is not only important that your stomach is full and that you have good food, which a lot of urgent dance, it is also important that it tastes good, that you not only eat it, that you eat something, it is also important for the soul that it tastes good and those meals are really, really good. I read only in the shop one package full with those cookies and then I see it how many they are. I have 100, 150 packages of those cookies. This here are cookies, 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 cookies. I doesn't thought that it would be so many. They are good because they are taste like nothing, but they are so hard that you had to bite them for a long time. And then when you bite it for such a long time, you mean that your stomach is full also when this is not true. And the last box are also express menus. Here is some chicken feet. I really want to try it. <laughs> I'm hungry actually. So in this here is emergency food. I'm sure you know it. I have uh, 12 packages and they are good till 2041, so pretty long. But I would only eat them when I have nothing else. So this is good and there is everything which your body needs inside. But at first I want to try something like this. But they are really good and um, they will make me stay alive. Here under me is a lot of toilet paper. So this is not really necessary, but it is good to have and when not, you find other stuff. Here on top is also a little bit Bavarian alcohol. So I hope that I find a person who really liked this. So I've got some other stuff. Into this bottle was in the past water in the cellar, but now I use it as an uh, rice storage. I know that a lot of hardcore prepper have into such um, bottles flavor, but I have no possibility to heat it. Um, so I don't really need flavor. The food topic is ready. Now we came to radio and communication. I have, I have here a DRB Plus radio. I can hear a lot of with it. I can load it with USB. If this is not possible for you, you can also um, buy a radio with an... I don't know the word. <laughs> so it is also good when you are alone, that you doesn't feel so alone when you hear a voice of a human or the music. So in this here um, are the walkie-talkies. Um, they are good for communication, but you have to know that other people can also hear what you are talking. When they have also walkie-talkies, they can hear what you are saying um, about um, 
your home or when you found some food and you talk um, this with the walkie-talkie to your partner, they can maybe hear it and this is a little bit bad. Joshua Kimmich hat mit seinen Aussagen Unverständnis und Kritik hervorgerufen. Diana Kramer berichtet. I want to be able to repair something or to build something new and because of this I have into this box several tools inside. Sorry, my voice. At my bushcraft trip I always have an equipment belt with me where the important stuff is inside like pepper spray, axe saw, knife, um, light and something to start a fire. Here I have several cables for my solar panels, uh, strings, a lighter and something else. And I can feel well I want to have a clean home and because of this I have here something to clean the cabin. Hygienic is also important because of this I have here in this if you can um, toothbrush, soap and um, some towels to wash the body. This here are all first aid kits but I want to make you an <coughs> extra video for this topic. To be lonely is very bad because of this I have here an acoustic guitar and several books. Here under Ica's bed is an aluminium box filled with sleeping bags from Grootsy bag. So you see that I use every space but I can't show them to you because I can't want to sleep now. Um, so and they are into this box because in the cabin it is sometimes a little bit wet and uh, it is a little bit stinky. So um, inside of this box they smell like nothing and they are dry. Here I have a big axe, a hammer, a knife, slingshot and also another big bayonet. Of course in an emergency situation I can not only think about myself and the kids, I also had to think at the dogs. The dogs want to have also a full stomach, so into this aluminum box is only dog food. Being invisible is in a crisis situation very important. When somebody finds my cabin they maybe plan on robbery. Because of this I would uh, fix this, um, this net so with this nobody can see the cabin. I have inside and outside a thermometer that I can find out how cold the night would be if I had to eat more or it is enough. Being bored is not nice, so I have here different uh, play stuff from the kids and of course a lot of extra cl uh, clothes because um, it is very bad when your body gets cold. This here is the sleeping area. Here on top are the both big kids um, when they went to sleep. And here I sleep my youngest child and I. Into those hard plastic tough case cases under my bed I have um, some kid stuff and in the small orange is something really special. What's here inside really makes me happy. Ta-da! This flashlight brings light into the darkness. I found out in the past how important it is to have a flashlight brand which is really working the whole time when you need it. So and I'm very happy that I have now the LED Lancer flashlights because they are really high quality and um, I really really like them. So if you want to see more of the flashlights and I want, uh, if you want that I make a separate video for you, please write it in the comments if you want. <laughs> that was it, I'm out for today, but the serial Be Prepared will going on. We see us. Stay tuned. Bye.